It was sweltering in Bass Knight's warehouse as the second week of tobacco buying began. But farmers like J.B. Early were too busy smiling to notice the heat. The prices the buyers were bidding were great. What's the price you've been getting so far this year? Dollar fifty-five. How, how good is that? Real good from what was last year. What was it last year? Oh, about seventy-five dollars and ninety cents. The price is better because the quality is better. Last year's drought forced the grower to bring an inferior crop to market. Farmer Ernest Blow can see the difference. This year it looks like this, and last year you say it looked like what? Like kind of like this? Yes, yes, last year. So that's why you're getting 60 cents more a pound. Yes, sir. But although farmers are happy, they know they aren't yet out of the woods. The experts say it takes at least three good years to make up for one bad one. And warehouse owner Herbert Jenkins, who suffered along with the growers last season, knows how bad it was. The last three years have been bad. And in particular last year. Last year was a disaster. Worse than bad. Tobacco people are sensitive to criticism that the government is propping them up. They claim their industry generates more in taxes than it takes out in subsidies. And farmers are especially grateful for any help they can get, especially during those years when the crop isn't even worth the support price. This was actually a light day here in Ahoski. In this part of the state, most of the tobacco is still out in the field. When it comes out, this warehouse will be twice as full as it is today. Farmers will be happy if at that time they're getting the same price. In Ahoski, North Carolina, Joel Rubin, The Daily News. The tobacco market is actually a pretty simple operation. The farmer grows his tobacco when it's ready to sell. He brings it here to a husky and gets the best price he can. The only really complicated thing to an outsider is understanding the auctioneer. 55. Ed Brown is one of the best. He's been at it 25 years. It's a profession he fell into quite by accident. Well, I was working with Export Tobacco Company and. Uh, Auctioneer got sick at lunchtime, and of course I stepped in and sold two or three rows. And as time progressed, I got into it and been at it ever since. To the layman, ground spiel sounds like a lot of gibberish. Actually, it's nothing more than numbers, up and down, depending on what the buyers offer for each sheet or pile of tobacco. Here's a for instance. Seventy-eight dollar bit in the lead, dollar bit in the same, dollar bit in the same, bit in the same, dollar bit in the lead, dollar bit in the nine, dollar bit in the lady, dollar gone Skinner. What did you just say? I started at seventy-eight dollars. Seventy-eight, seventy-seven dollar bit in the same, six, seventy-seven dollar bit in the same, eight, seventy-eight dollar bit in the same, nine, eighty dollar, eighty dollar Skinner. Skinner is a buyer from Williamston. Brown's been in business so long because all the buyers trust him to get them a share of a good deal. It pays to be fair and square. The companies, all the companies have been very good to me. Uh, I can't single one no company out that uh, has not treated me like a jump. And then I'm going to do my best to treat them the same way. In Ahoski, North Carolina, Joel Rubin, The Daily News.